I'm Tiffany, I'm from Southern California, and my home school is Loyola University in New Orleans. I'm Casey, I go to the University of Southern Indiana. Hi, my name is Christina, um, I'm from California, but I go to Northern Arizona University. So I'm Maddie, and I go to Loyola, New Orleans. I'm Amelia, I go to Appalachian State University in North Carolina. My name is Rosa Ennison, I'm from the Lloyd College in Wisconsin, but I come from Ghana, I just studied there. Hi, I'm Emily, I'm from Virginia, and I go to Virginia Tech. I'm Zoe Hester, I'm from East Tennessee State University in Johnson City, Tennessee. This is my first time in Europe. This is my first time to France in Europe. This was my first time to Europe, and my first time to France. Third time in Europe, second time in France, and second time studying abroad. I studied in Paris two summers ago. Uh, it's my first time in France, it's my fourth time in Europe. Yeah, I've only ever been to Canada, so this is, France is my third country. Do you count the states as a country? Climbing Mont Saint Victoire with Casey, Khaki. When I went to Bordeaux, with one of my friends from high school, we were supposed to go out, but instead of going out, we bought Saucy Saw and Sorbet and drank a lot of wine and watched Legally Blonde until we fell asleep. When I went to Italy with Amelia and Emily, we had just arrived in Florence. Suddenly I saw the Duomo and the bells were going off and it was kind of dark and it looked eerie, but it was just this giant structure. It was amazing, I'll never forget that. Just in general, going out with the girls, all the time is going out with all the girlies. You know, being able to just head up to town, go to a pub, sit down, have a couple beers. I can't believe I'm saying it now, but all those nights walking back in the cold to our dorms with each other. <laughs> that time Casey got super drunk. <laughs> that was funny. I'm like, which drunk. time? <laughs> I jumped in a fountain, drunk, stole a box of wine, drunk. Stole a glass that night too, but broke it. <laughs> Shattered it. Kept dropping her phone and she didn't want help. That's what killed me. Like the first night when we went out to Stupid Acello and like had a great dance time, it was really fun because I think all of us were sort of unsure until that point and then all of a sudden it was like, now we're okay, even though we were the only ones dancing in the beginning because America. Long story is short, first time in Europe, I got in an unmarked taxi with no meter. It was this large black van. Turned out okay. He was a nice guy. Oh, it said, I'm in a sketchy taxi right now. If I don't text you when I get to the airport, I've been taken, LOL. That's what I sent to her at two in the morning. Uh, other good ones. Crushed ice. Yeah, crushed ice. Oh my God, I forgot about crushed ice. My favorite French word is avocat which is French for avocado and lawyer. Just the word way, which is like French for yeah, because every time one of my French professors described it, they were always like, just imagine you're from, they'd reference California, and they were like, like way, and I just thought that was hilarious. <laughs> Pomplamousse, which is the word for grapefruit. Sacré bleu, which is a good one, um, mostly because my boyfriend just shouted it at me. Sacré bleu, just that. <laughs> I really don't know if I have one, I just, I love the whole language, I guess. Sedang. I don't even know like what it really means, but I feel like it means, oh, it's cool, or like, ah, that's what I think, maybe it means something else completely. I just like the sound of it. Shouldn't say pa, because I literally never know. Bien sûr. It's like, it's better than just like, affirmative, we. Oui. It's like, oh, of course, like, yes, for sure. I've had a lot of embarrassing mix-ups mostly with food because somehow I order things and people can't understand what I'm saying or something. Banana flour. Like I was trying to order a milkshake and the name of the milkshake was just banana flour. So I was like, oh, je vous trait banana flour. And he was like, what? And then he was like, oh, banana flour. I was like, okay. In Casino, which is a grocery store, a lady kept asking me about wine and which wine she should buy. And first of all, she's French, so she should know which wine she should buy. And I had no idea how to explain to her which one I liked and why I liked it. I just knew that I liked it. So every single time we would go to O'Shannon's, I would get the cider, which was really good. But they never really understand you, and so you have to say, like, cidre, like, three different times and, like, three different ways. Oh, le franc cidre. And then they're like, quoi? Cidre, 
Le frost cire. It's just like embarrassing conjugation problems. Just or like when someone's yeah asking you a question and you're like, we oui, and they're like. We were cooking dinner one night and this girl wanted to use the burner, but we were all using them. And I kept saying, je suis fini, which means I'm dead. I was like, je suis fini un moment. And then like she corrected me and it was embarrassing. J'ai fini, oh, I'm finished, not like I'm dead. My favorite place in X is probably the park. The park, Parc de la Tours. The markets for sure, especially the one behind Hotel de Ville. Anyway, that was my favorite because like you go through all the markets and then you get back to this little square and it's just all flowers. It's like instant happiness. Um, I love Capo Go Go. <laughs> Columbus Cafe because I've gotten so much work done there. It's probably the alleyways behind Cour Mirabeau just because there's so many stores and stuff to look at and there's like a church back there and sometimes we'll walk by and there's a service going on you can like see in. I love, love, love sitting on Cour Mirabeau at sunset and writing in my journal. My favorite place in France, Paris. Honestly, it's probably X, just because I love little towns with a lot of stuff to do. There's so much to see here, even though it's pretty small. It feels so homey, even though we're in a different country, which I love, so. I love X. I love Mont Saint Michel, and I love Cassis, and they're so different. Marseille. Yeah, I love Marseille. My favorite place in all of France has to be Cassis, the small beach town. Cassis. It's so beautiful. It reminds me of home. Cassis. I really liked it. Very pretty. I like the beach. Uh, Cassis. For sure. The beach is where it's at. And Montpellier. I'd like to explore Montpellier a little bit more. Barcelona. Barcelona is my favorite place. I love Barcelona. I was obsessed with Florence. That was my second time being in Florence. The first time was like back in high school. My mom and I went. I like I love that city. I could spend like years and years there. I probably have the same answers. I'm looking at Florence. <laughs> I could spend so long there. Everything was so amazing and beautiful and like three days definitely wasn't enough. I could have been there for years and still explored. Like the food's amazing. The people are wonderful. I went to London and I love London. London's like my favorite place in the world actually. <laughs> probably either Amsterdam, which was a lot of fun. And then the other would probably be Florence. Or maybe Pisa. I went to so many places. <laughs> I went to the most places of all of our friends, I think. Yeah. Went to Amsterdam. Amsterdam was awesome. Went to Brussels. Underwhelming. I'm hoping that doesn't offend anyone. Paris, Marseille. Nice. Salon de Provence. Monacoville. La Ciota. Oral. Montpellier. Dublin. Doolin. Edinburgh. Glasgow. Naples. Pompeii. Pisa. And Rome. <laughs> Barcelona. Berlin. Cannes, Mont Saint Michel, Florence, London, and Newbury. And I'm about to go to Coldiga, Vince Spiels, and Riga. I wish I could have went to Lyon, but never did. I wanted to meet Alex Morgan, damn it. I follow her on social media and she's like exploring Lyon and I'm like, I'm in France, motherfucker. Red. Red wine all the way. If I have to drink wine, as in like I usually only drink it to get a little shwasty, probably either like a sweet rosé or a sweet white. Rosé, just because I feel like I have a big sweet tooth and so rosé usually tastes the least like rotten grape juice, which is basically what wine is. I have like 12 empty bottles of rosé right up there, so. Rosé. <laughs> rosé. Uh, rosé. Or sweet anything. I prefer beer, but I like rosé. My first like friend that wasn't one of the American girls would probably be this French boy that lives across the hall from me that taught me how to use the stoves in the kitchen and then invited me to eat dinner with him. I think the first people that I really like clicked with were Amelia and Emily, but I met them kind of together. So it's kind of just them both. <laughs> well, Maddie and I came from the same school in New Orleans, so we already knew each other. Um, and that was really nice to have somebody from home or school. But the first new friend I made was Casey. Tiffany. I don't know. Either Amelia or Christina. Rosa was the first person I met. We um, were picked up in the airport together and we live right next to each other. And tomorrow we're leaving together. <laughs> when people ask you, how is studying abroad? Good. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> that's it good. Was, it was it was an adventure. I know that's like really cliche, but I went to so many places. That's just that's just what it was. Challenging, but so incredible and so rewarding. And suddenly I was like, oh my god, I'm doing so much. And it was usually when I was calling my friends back home. They were like, we're doing finals. I was like, oh, I had a day down on the French Riviera the other day. I was like, oh my god, like what am I doing? And then suddenly it's just, especially towards the end of the trip, like you realize, like you're thinking about things and it's like, this is not the opinion I had when I first got here. Like your worldview is like slowly changing. You don't realize it until you start reflecting. Maintenant, because I have had to remind myself so many times to just focus on now and be so so thankful for every single moment that I've been here and yeah that's been really important to me to be present and to know that this is an amazing experience powerful because I learned a lot about myself and I learned a lot about what I want to do with my future fulfilling I guess I have planned on doing this since I was like 10 years old and I'm very satisfied with it phenomenal Vraiment. Like, I didn't expect it to be this way. Met so many cool people. I've grown a lot from it. So, phenomenal. Unbelievable. Can I swear? Yes. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck in a good way or a bad way? Fuck both. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> it's seriously, like, nobody gives a crap here about what you're doing or how you're living. They're like, you'll figure it out. What are you gonna miss the most? you guys and the fresh pastries that was my next thing <laughs> my good friend paul the bakery um <laughs> here they've got some great sandwiches crepe go go pizza capri lumberjack i'm gonna miss fresh baguettes from boulangeries and just walking through all the beautiful alleys <sighs> there's a lot there's a lot to miss i just feel like surrounded by so much culture and there's so many different cultures in such a small area. Like you can take like a two hour plane ride and be, be in like a completely different country with a different language, with a different set of cultural standards. I just think it's crazy. Like all the social, just, I don't know, the diversity. The people, it's been hard saying goodbye. Like it's weird, we've developed like a little friend group and that's not gonna be there anymore because we all live on all different sides of the country. So of course I'm gonna miss the girlies, all the people. I'm gonna miss Scott. We've been able to share this great experience with everyone and it's so hard to think that we're all going back to our separate places. And the friendliness we have with each other, like the group vibe, where it's like we didn't know each other at all but we quickly fell into a routine and we trusted each other enough to like travel with each other, to share our stories with each other and our experiences. It takes a lot to open up to people but we managed to do that with each other. It's easy to bond over like our failures of the past four months and like our high points of the past four months, obviously. Probably what everyone else has said, <laughs> each other and other girls that I met in class and just the people in general. I'm gonna miss getting to use the language actually. I feel like I've already gotten worse at French again since we were out of classes. I think also I'm gonna miss not really Sounds so horrible, but like not worrying about school as much. Goodbye, <laughs> France. I will be back. <laughs> it's gonna be sad, but that's okay. I'll be back. I like the phrase, a plus. Merci beaucoup. A bientôt. Vive la France. <laughs> Extra time. I won't say goodbye because I believe that. You'll be back. A bientôt. I'll be back. Exactly. So, a bientôt. Hey, Y'all will come visit me. Or. <laughs> I don't know. Don't be afraid to step outside the plan you have for yourself. I was planning on graduating college, going to grad school, graduating, getting a job, and then like working for the rest of my life. It's, it didn't seem like a bad thing, but now that I'm here, I'm like, I could do so much more and like, it wouldn't ruin my life. Like, I don't need a house and a car and like to live in a little suburb. Like, I just want to enjoy what I'm doing and make sure that I'm living the life I want. So, yeah. <laughs>